Hey y'all, Pookie TVX. Just getting off, getting home from a, working a double, two jobs. You know, been listening to some of the YouTube shit going on, and it's a lot of shit to speak on, man. That I don't even know if if I got all the words in on how to come up with it, cause it's a lot of fuck shit. <clears throat> I mean, it started off. It started off like this. Um, Kodak Black and Ebro. You start there, cause that's the most. That's well. That boils it into the fuck shit. You got an interviewer. Supposed to be a seasoned interviewer, which I never really known who the cat was tell you the truth that's just being real and I'm not a Kodak Black fan but in this situation I'm a Kodak Black fan if you dig what I'm saying so Kodak Black goes to do an interview a normal you know little interview and the interviewer which is Ebro Immediately is feeling some type of way, but he knew the thing is, is why he why he liked this. What gets me is he knew this nigga was coming to the studio. He knew he was coming to do this interview. He could have stopped it and been like, "No, nah, I don't want to do it." But the reason why the nigga didn't stop it is because the nigga wanted that them hits, them views, that vulture shit. So he sucked up his fucking pride and went on with the interview, even though he's feeling a type of way about the nigga that he interviewing. That's one of the fuck shit right there. That's called a two-faced shit right there. You hate the nigga, but you need him, nigga. To do your goddamn interview, nigga. You need him. So you want to try and prey on the young boy. That's some of the fuck shit right there, first of all. Plus, you 40-something plus, bruh. Fuck, you got your hand all down this young and throat for, man. Like, you ain't never did nothing wrong, nigga, or, or got accused of something, first of all. It ain't even nothing that said that the young boy did that shit. But you got this sick look on your face like, yeah, I know he did. How the fuck you know he did it, bruh? And who gives a fuck if he comes to the studios in a fucking ski mask? Did you scared of that? You feel uncomfortable, Ebro? You feel uncomfortable because he's coming there in the ski mask? That's what he do. That's his gimmick. But you don't feel you don't feel safe there, huh? You was real safe and tough when you was telling him to shut the interview down, which he was already going to do. Shouldn't even went that far. Then you gonna ask him, do he believe we land on some goddamn planet on the moon and shit, man? What the fuck? Fuck that got to do with this man, what you just asked this man? And what the fuck did that got to do about this man record sales and his popularity in the fucking young hip-hop genre, nigga? What? Ebro? Hmm? Riddle me that, nigga. You cause more stress on that man than the goddamn courts are gonna do, and they ain't even got to him yet. And all y'all niggas got this man persecuting. We seen we seen this shit over and over, time and time again, and y'all niggas still, still. Excuse my French, nigga, but take the bitch's word, the clout bitch. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to my real women. Y'all know who y'all are, so you shouldn't even be offended. Because you know you are, as a woman, as your being, you know you. And you know these clout bitches. And guess where it happened at, y'all? South Carolina, motherfucking liner. <laughs> Still got fucking plantations out there, nigga. My mom used to stay out there before she passed away, homie. I know how that shit look out there, and I know how they act out there, nigga. Stayed out there on Darlington, Anderson Farm Road, nigga. 
She go all up and down Florence, nigga, all the way to North, nigga, Riley, North Carolina, all that, nigga, all the way back up to Augusta, nigga, on the way to Atlanta, nigga. You know how that shit is out there, bro. Ain't shit changed about the South, nigga. Ain't nothing changed about the South, nigga. But the generations. Still same shit and still in them. You guys gonna have y'all, y'all got this young man throat cut before he even fucking see anything, nigga. Quick to jump on the bitch side. You niggas kill me, man, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, it's not just you, though, Ebro. <clears throat> it's not just you. So I'm skimming like I do when I'm driving, you know, hour and a half, two hours drive back and forth. You know, I'm skimming. I'm listening to the, you know what I'm saying, to the YouTube, to a couple of my people. And one of my people I likes, man. I liked it, this girl, man. I like it, this girl, man, named Tasha K, man. I was rocking with Tasha, man, until what happened at this point. I'm not saying I'm not rocking with her, and I'm not saying I'm going to put one of them bitch-ass moves. I unsubscribe. That's some hoe-ass shit. You unsubscribe. Get the fuck out of here, you lame. You was lame before you fucking subscribe, nigga. I'm talking about you fucking unsubscribe. Get the fuck out of here. That's the corniest shit I ever heard anybody. Like, it's going to hurt you. Like, oh, damn, I'm cut. This nigga just unsubscribed me. Oh, I'm cut. Get the fuck out of here, bro. But what I'm going to say, though, to Tasha K. You was fuckery Friday today. The shit that was coming out of your mouth was straight fuckery. Straight fuckery. Nothing less. And it's not fuckery on other people. It was all your fuckery. And I'm going to give you points, Tasha. I'm going to give you points on what your fuckery was at, baby. Believe that. It's coming, sister. You talk all about my motherfucking cigarette. You sipping that goddamn wine. You sip wine so goddamn much, you don't even know you was two months pregnant. You so goddamn in your wine old state, you don't even know you too much motherfucking pregnant, girl. And you out here spilling other people's wine. My beef with you, Tasha. My beef with you, Tasha Kizze, is how, first of all, the Cardi shit, okay? You go and if somebody messaged you, some shit about Cardi B. Could be an enemy, friend, or foe, or ex, or who the fuck know. Anybody could be a John Doe. But you gonna show enough read that shit and put that shit out there in the ether, ain't you? Without no type of fact checking, nothing. You just spit it all in the ether. Pour wine, is what you call it. You pour some wine. That wasn't even no fine wine. That was more like some fucking night train. That's more like some Carlos Rossi rhyme, what you fucking pour tonight. And that's fucking facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm busting some facts tonight on this motherfucker. I'm sick of it. See, like, you got a goddamn, like, you got a goddamn vendetta against Cardi. Cardi is your whole fucking gimmick. I've been peeping at it. as I'm listening. I'm peeping. I'm listening. I mean, you go to a little here and there, but then you, you, but when you, when you trying to slide back home, you come right to that Carly shit. You come right back to that Carly. You slide right in on it, like it's a home run. Digging this girl's life out, digging her world out, and then you, then you mix it with a little Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj is on pills now, so she dating the rapist. Pills don't make you date no fucking rapist, Tasha. You might have seen people on pills or seen pill situations, but you don't know what the fuck you talking about until you on pills. Pills make you feel like you fucking Superman. Low self-esteem? Fuck no. Pills make you seem like you the flyest motherfucking iceberg slim out this bitch. Facts. So that shit you talking is fucking... I don't know what the fuck you were saying today. I think you was a little too goddamn tipsy off of that wine. 
reading off that Cardi shit, talking about um, the girl had a fucking um, um, take an AIDS test, and and um, you said the girl shit was uh, negative, but then you said she gonna read it because she ain't got the paperwork back. So how the fuck she know it's negative if she ain't got the paperback? First of all, but um, besides that, that's some little bickering hoe ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I just had to stick that in there because. You stay on Cardi like you just like you just want to be with Cardi at like you just like you just I don't, I don't know it's something eerie about that shit. But moving all along, Tasha, we're gonna slide on over to Kodak Blizzak. How you went on in on him? I mean, you went in on this young man. This is your exact words, Tasha K. He's guilty until proven innocent. Let me say that one more time. He's guilty until proven innocent. That's been black man's shit since the beginning of time, Tasha. And for you to say some Uncle Tom nitpicking house nigga shit like that is fucking ridiculous. It's fucking sad. You supposed to be a sister up power and up doing all this and you blaming this young boy for something that you don't even know if he fucking did. Nobody know if this fucking young boy did it. And I don't think he fucking did it. It seemed like a fucking rewind of the pox situation to me. But I guess this falls into the me too shit, huh? You go to holler at a girl, tell her, oh, you fat ass, you now you got a nice, you looking good, ma. Me too. You in there next to Bill Cosby and Kodak Black and all these other motherfuckers, huh? That's how y'all do it. Shit sad, man. What the fuck is coming to, man? The fuck, man? People true color start coming out once you see they fucking numbers going up, man. They start getting a little above their motherfucking self. Sometimes you need to snatch their ass and pull their ass back to motherfucking earth. And let them know. You one of us. I'm pretty sure they could pull up one of your goddamn police police mug shots. I'm pretty fucking sure about that. You sitting there wishing on this, wishing this man ugly. He got ugly breath. He got stank breath. He got this. He got that. How the fuck you know what this man got? And for somebody that's about to have a baby? I wouldn't be saying shit like that about people because you never know what might happen, what God might do to you. You might as well want to just keep that tidbit to your goddamn self. That's just me, personally. Y'all all on Kobach Black's head, man. Y'all don't know what the fuck that man going through. Y'all don't know what the fuck happened. Y'all don't know if it's one of them goddamn uh, Emmett Till situations. What about that? Niggas don't, niggas don't really, you don't remember the shit like that, though, huh? That shit don't cross your fucking mind while you're talking reckless. It just don't. It's sad, man. It's sad how blacks turn on blacks. Black males. And then you got genders turning on genders. Black women turning on black men. Black men can't trust a black woman. Try and bounce to a different one and then he still get ridiculed. We the endangered species. And we would think our rib can hold us down somewhat. Oh, no, y'all motherfuckers just take and run. That's how they do. That's how they do, man. Take and fucking run, man. Step on your fucking neck to get to where they got to get to. Get a baby by a nigga, she got a bag. They call that a bag, y'all. Can you believe that? Can you fucking believe? Listen what, listen what I'm saying, y'all. In 2018, about to be 2019, man. If you have a baby with anybody that's in a celebrity status, that's a guy, and you a nutting ass bitch 
just got fucking demoted from Burger King because you wasn't fucking flipping the fucking Whoppers right, but you in a club painted up and ass shot it out and you'd actually bump one and get a baby? That bitch just got a bag. Not a bouncing baby boy, a bouncing baby girl, a bundle of joy. Bitch got a bag, bruh. And she wouldn't even be there taking care of the kid if you're a grandma or her mom. While she out trying to get that second bag. Facts. So I ain't gonna go too long into this, man, because I'm gonna do some more on it, man, and come back. I'm gonna blast y'all ass again. It's gonna be a part two of blasting y'all ass. Sometimes y'all need y'all ass touched, man. No homo. Pause. So Tasha, Ebro, any person that feel they doing the way they doing, the way they acting, and the way they treat their people, coming. Coming. Kodak Black, stay strong, brother. You're innocent until you're proven guilty. <laughs> we know that's bogus. Until the next time. Book of TV One. I'm out.